so really okay. I haven't worked that All right. much. Mm. Okay, uh, do you have any any insurance on your name and health insurance or something? Yeah, life insurance. Um, we have a life insurance. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, if somebody kills me, I guess it's all right. Oh, okay, no problem. And uh, apart from that, I would like to ask you, Mr. Zavich, one more question which okay. I have. Okay. That, uh, yes, mm -hmm. just a second, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, do you have a driver's license with you, right? Yes. And what kind of class of it, like A class, C class, B, or regular, which one do you have, sir? It's a double D. I'm sorry? A double D. D class. Double D. D okay, double D, okay, no problem, sir. All right, and uh, Mr. Peter Zinia, uh, thank you very much for the information which you gave me. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to thank forward you. the information. Yes, you're welcome. I'm okay. going to forward the information to the Federal Trade Commission who are investigating on your case. The Federal and, uh, Trade Commission, you said? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. And Ms. Peter, for the next procedure, what else I can do? We just, you just need to hold the line for a moment. I'm going to connect this kind to my higher authorities, my senior speakers. They will let you know what you need, you, what you need to do for the next step and how can you rectify the situation. How oh. can re you remove your name from this kind of yeah, I gotta re okay, well, yeah, I got to remove my name. Yes, sir, Robin. So pl please hold the line for a moment. Okay, please, okay. Thank you. Thanks for holding the line. Your line has been transferred to senior officer from the Social Security, from DEA. I believe I'm speaking with Peter Zinia. Yes, sir. All right. A very good morning to you, Mr. Zinia. How are you doing today? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I believe one of my paralegal they inform you regarding this case file and the fraudulent activities under your name and your social security number. Yes, he did. He told me Texas and cocaine and blood and residue mm -hmm. i don't but i told him i have been to texas i used to go to texas and work the jackalope roundup and in the spring we do the branding but that was years ago i'm back in new york now all right so you're saying mr zinia that you're not the one who committed this crime and fraudulent activity, no, no. right of course i didn't mm -hmm. and that is the reason i believe you are agreed to help the Department of Social Security Administration. Well, I got to get my name off. I, I get, well, I'm not worried about him, but I want to get my name off the warrant. That's what I'm concerned about. I don't care about the guy. That's your job, not mine. Yeah, that's correct. And that is okay. the reason we need your help so that we can catch the real suspect. And yes. before that, we can we can remove right. your name from this case file yes. we can cancel your okay, arrest yeah. warrant okay you got, you got to do now, that yes okay mm -hmm. now peter i yes. have the assist verification form in front of me mm -hmm. that you have a td bank yes checking bank. and savings checking. with them right and yes checking you have 500 and something dollar yeah 550 savings yes. you have 1800 1800 yes okay now Mm -hmm. Peter, what yes. we need to do, okay. I have got the approval from the courthouse to okay. safeguard your assets okay. and link your assets under your new social. Okay. So we need to complete an ADR under your name and your social, Mr. Zinia. ADR, okay. that stands for an alternative dispute resolution in which, Mr. Zinia, all of your existing information will be linked as it is under your new social, but okay. in between okay. your okay. bank hang, account hang has some hang, funds hang, in uh, it. Okay. Hang on. Eddie, Eddie, take those shoes off the dog, I said. He doesn't like it. Let him out. Okay, go ahead. All right, so listen to me very carefully and try to understand this. Okay. That your existing information will be linked as it is under your new social, Mr. Zinia, but in between, your bank account has some funds available in it. 
So if the investigation of the assist will start it, Mr. Zinia, uh -huh. that yes. money which you have available in the TD bank yes. can get frozen and oh. confiscated I don't want that. for an unknown period of time, Mr. Zinia. No, no, you can't so freeze mine. Before, so before that I, money gets frozen, money. Mr. Zinia, I will okay. help you. Yes, oh. I'm coming to that. Listen to me. Okay, okay, okay. So before that money get frozen and confiscated, we will help you to safeguard that money, Mr. Zinia. I don't want you to lose your money, okay? I don't want to lose it either. Yes. So there are two conditions, Mr. Zinia. You have to follow the conditions if you want to safeguard your money. Okay. Let me go ahead and give you the conditions. Condition number one, Mr. Zinia. Number one, okay. Until and unless we cancel your arrest warrant from the courthouse until I give you the confirmations that your warrant and the name has been removed. We cannot disconnect this line, the line on which we are talking right now, Mr. Zinia. Okay. The reason I need to record this entire conversation with you and I need to submit this recording inside the courthouse as in a piece of evidence to piece prove of, yourself a piece of, a piece innocent, of Mr. Zinia. I didn't understand. A piece you. of evidence. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. In favor of you to prove yourself innocent that you were cooperating with the Social Security Administration and you were not trying to run away from the situation. Run away? So this recording. I couldn't run away if I wanted to. I'm just trying to give the information, Mr. Zinia. I'm okay. not just pointing you. Okay. I'm just telling you the conditions, okay? Okay. That until I give you the confirmations from the court that your warrant of arrest has been cancelled, your name has been removed, we cannot disconnect this line. You have to okay, stay got connected it. to got me. It. Okay, got that it. is the I first got condition. It. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. Second condition. Second. Okay. Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. As of this moment, the Social right Security okay. Administration is trying to suspend your Social Security number, Mr. Xenia, where you have to follow a Privacy Act of 1974. Do you know about the Privacy Protocol? No, I don't. Let me make you aware. Okay. The Privacy Act mm -hmm. of 1974, 1974. Privacy Protocol. Okay. Where the United States government, U.S. Treasury, and Department of Social Security is taking care of you, your account, your property as well. Why? Because we are not able okay. to believe on that people who did this kind of activities. That means we cannot trust anyone. No, you can't. The culprit may be besides you. In your family, the only one neighbors, here is my cousin Eddie. Colleagues, I don't think he did it. Relatives, it mm -hmm. could be anyone, Mr. Zinia, and that is the reason we have not disclosed this matter in a public records. Okay. So we need a same cooperation from you until okay. we catch those criminal and until we issue a new social for you. You are not allowed to disclose this matter to any of the third person. You have to make this procedure private and confidential between you and the Social Security. That is called a privacy protocol. Okay, so it's right? like just between you and me, then. I can't tell nobody else. Yes. Okay. Yes. I got it. Okay. Now, like I said, before we suspend your social and before that money get frozen and confiscated, I will help you to safeguard that money. Okay. So, if your intention is to safeguard the money, the courthouse is providing you a facility. Eddie, Eddie. Okay, now he's with the parrot. Go ahead. Who was that? My cousin. I told you my cousin was here with me, but he didn't do it. Okay. Well, I was just trying to say, Mr. Zinia, that before we suspend the social, before mm -hmm. that money get frozen and confiscated, okay, I don't want to the courthouse is providing you a facility, Mr. Zinia. 
okay. the procedure it's called EFSGS. You can note down the name. Oh, EF. Wait a minute. It's E. I'll spell out for you. Okay. EFSGS. SGS. Okay. It F stands F for F Electronic oh. Federal Safe Guard System. Oh. Okay. All right. I got it written down. All right. So the procedure is simple. The money that you have available in the bank, you have to convert that money into the electronic federal safety vouchers, Mr. Zinia. Okay. Now let me tell you where you can get this safety vouchers from. Okay. Do you know any government certified stores near to you, like any CVS, Target, Walmart, Myers. There's a target. Do you have any There's stores? a target here. A target store? Yes. Okay. Let me just ask you this. Is this your current zip code 13073? No, I don't know where you got that from. That's not your zip code? Mine is 13118. 13118. Yes. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me find out the store for you, okay? Okay. And this address, 100 May, South Main Street, Groton, Groton, New York, 13073. Does yes. that address belong to you or not? No, I'm in Moravia, but it's right next 100, to Groton. 100 Main Street is my address, sorry? but I'm in Moravia. Groton is right next door to us. All right, you're not at your house right now. Yeah, I'm at my house. So this address, 100... South Main Streets, is that belongs to you? Yeah. Or not? Yeah. My house. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so you have these stores. Target, you said the CVS. Do yeah. you have the CVS nearest to you? There's a CVS, yeah, in Groton, but that's next door. That's like I don't know, five miles away. Okay. So what exactly you need to do? You need to convert the I money which you to. have okay. in the TD Bank okay. into the electronic federal safety vouchers. Those safety vouchers you can get from any government or nationalized stores like CVS, Target. So once you get those safety vouchers from the store, Mr. Zinia, I will register that voucher under your new social and I will cancel your arrest warrant. Okay, cancel that. You have that. to keep yes. that safety. Yes, once yes. we safeguard okay. that money under your okay. new social, once All we right. register those safety vouchers, you have to okay. keep those safety vouchers with you till tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. the officers, when they come at your residence, they will That's ask you for those safety vouchers. That's what the other guy said. They were, they, the other guy, Robin, said they were coming here, but... I, I don't know. Would they, could they stay six feet away from me because of the uh, pandemic? They got to stay six feet away. I mean, I'm sorry, what did you say? We got to have the separation. They call it the personal separation of six feet. Mm -hmm. So they can't come in the house or anything. Well, in that case, you can... I will give you the address according to your city, your state, the official social security building okay. where you have to go and meet with an officers, okay? They will ask you for those safety vouchers, Mr. Zinia. Okay. They will scan those vouchers and they will write a cashier's check for the same equal amount to you. Wait a minute. Once you get your new social I'm gonna documents, go. I'm gonna you have go. to visit oh. your bank. Okay. You have to visit your yes. bank, you have to link your social, then your bank will be reopened and then you can deposit that money back into your accounts. So I'm going okay? to take, take the money out, get a voucher, put the money back in. Is that it? No, you don't no. have to take money out of from the bank, okay? Okay, good. First of all, do you use a online banking? No. Online mobile I, banking? I don't know how to do that. Oh, uh, you don't use a mobile banking, Mrs. Zinia? No. I have my grandson do it. Do you it know the bank is I open? I, I don't know how to do it. The bank? Yeah. Do you know the bank is opened? Yes. I, I think so. All right. 
because why I'm asking you this question if you can transfer the money from savings to checking you can directly use your debit card of TD Bank at the CVS at the target to convert your money into those safety vouchers well, how, now, am I, Mr. Zinia, how am I gonna get to CVS and target can you walk you have to walk to walk or you have to drive towards the stores I'm, I'm under quarantine I, I'm I can't go well you're doing this for yourself Mrs. Zinia not I for me I understand you're well, under the I'm quarantine. A vulnerable, I'm a vulnerable person sir I can't go outside. I do believe you, Mr. Zinia. Okay. I do believe you. I trust you. Okay, good. But do you know this is not the matter of money, Mr. Zinia. This is the matter of your identity. Well, it's a matter right. of my this health. Is not any bill It's collected. a matter of my health if I go outside. I do understand that, Mr. Zinia. But you have to do this procedure. Without this procedure, we cannot cancel your arrest warrant and we cannot remove well, the they, allegations They can't arrest me anyways. Your name. They can't arrest me. There's a quarantine. Nobody's getting arrested. Mr. Zinia, I'm not forcing you and I'm not requesting you. If you have to safeguard your money, if you have to cancel your warrant of arrest, then you have to go to the stores and you have to complete this. I procedure. cannot go it to the store. It won't take the whole day. I can't it go outside. It will take only I can't 30 go outside. minutes. I can't go outside. I can't go outside. Which city and state are you in right now? Uh, in Moravia, New York? Right. So you might have a Speedway nearest to you, Dollar General, 7-Eleven, no, Speedway. No, CVS, I told you, it's like five miles away. All right, then I have to do one thing. I have to suspend your social. I have to freeze your TD bank, the uh, money that you have available. No, you can't and freeze it. Within a 30 minutes, Mr. Zinia, within a 30 minutes, a you oh, will be receiving oh, wait, the wait court summons, wait minute, court subpoena at your doorstep with your warrant of arrest. So please cooperate with them while they arrest you. That's my uncle, my uncle Ben, scammer, you scamming fuck. Hey, scammer, are you making any money during this pandemic? Huh? You fuck. You have the Social Security Administration. How can I help you? I got a, a, a voicemail to call this number. All right, what was the call about, sir? Said there was something wrong with my Social Security number, suspicious things. I don't know what it was. Alright, so did you receive any case ID or reference ID number along with the phone call? No, I didn't hear one. Can you please check it out? Check what out? I erased it. So you haven't received any case ID or reference no, number? No, no refer right? nope, I haven't got any reference number. No. Okay. Now what? Alright, sir. And okay. in that case, can you help me out with your first name and last name so that I can check into my system and tell you what was it all about? First name's Iva, I-V-A. And your last name is? Biggin, B-I-G-G-U-N. Iva Biggin. Can I have your zip code, please? 13118. 13818? No, 13118. All right, sir, just stay connected. Let me just check into my system and tell you what was the call uh, about, okay? I'll, okay. Press hello? Zero for the dial by name. Yes, three. hello? Please hold while I try to connect you. Yes, is your current home address is 260 Almond Stream, you have Kulama. Social Security Who's Administration, how can I help you? Yes, hello? Is it? Yes, hello? Yes, can you verify me your current street address, sir? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes can, can you hear me? You, sir? You have issued the Social Security. Oh. Social Security. Hello? I got, I got two of you on the phone with me. I don't know what to do. You got two calls? Yeah. L Can hello? I know the other officer's name? I don't know. Oh, he hung up. I don't know. Robin Peterson. All right, just hold on. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes. hello. Hello? 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 Yes. Who hello? Uh, hello? Yes, is this Mr. Xenia? No, this is Iva. Iva Biggin. Who? I have a big one. You are an idiot? Hello? No, you are a scammer. Hello? 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 
Hello? Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Hello? Yeah, I, oh, I'm confused. Put your finger in your ass. Oh, really? Oh, you Bencho. That's not nice. Are who is this? Yeah, that's me. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? No, no, on the other line. Who is this? Mother Chod, Rak Fosse Dike, Padwe. Who hung up? Which which asshole hung up? Teri gaan mein ghus jaunga bhosadi wale. Teri gaan mein ghus jaunga bhosadi wale. Keep doing that, stupid.